Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a nice day. It's a ni oh, is that for me? Did you just make that for me? Fuck me, yeah. You getting the drone set up? That's it. You know why? We are gonna be showing you guys where we are staying. We're on the central coast here in Australia. This is Kilcare Beach. Kilcare, is that how you say it? Correct. And we are in a mega mansion. Mega mansion extraordinaire. We're gonna give you the full tour. But first, what, what I think we're gonna do is we're gonna send up the drone and we're gonna get some aerial shots just to kind of show you what this place looks like from the outside and then also like what this coast looks like because it's absolutely beautiful. Australia, in one word, is beautiful. Second word, dangerous. I'd actually say some people describe Alec that way. All right, I'm gonna have my coffee. You guys need to get some B-roll and just enjoy. Obviously, obviously this house is absolutely insane. I'm gonna take you through it like an MTV crib style. So this is the front door. You walk in, heavy doors, ba-boom, double full windows. You got the staircase. Probably you guys are asking right now, Steve, how the heck are you affording this place? The awesome thing um, is that actually Alex's mom is a realtor and her company looks after this house. So you can actually rent this house. I'll put the link in the description. It has its own website here. Um, but an absolute hookup because Alex's mom came through and no one was staying here because the holidays are over here. Kids are back in school. So we got it. So it is three levels, five bedrooms, but sleeps 24 because one of the bedrooms has like six bunk beds. We'll check that out. Each floor is controlled by its own iPad. So it's like all smart house, with an amazing view and it's just actually, I should stop talking let's just go check it out so you walk in from the front door staircase that goes up top or you come down the stairs boom 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 this is where we'll be watching the Super Bowl in a few days has the great view outside from there we go left into the beautiful kitchen you have the sitting room but look at this view of the ocean that's kill care this Saturday morning so this is the kitchen. The house really has an indoor kitchen and an outdoor kitchen. Alex's doing work right here. Dude, you're looking pretty swole. <laughs> what have you been doing, man? Lean program. Man. What? Lean program? Get it, get it, hit him with a peck dance. <laughs> I'm making Alex feel uncomfortable. Um, awesome coffee machine. This is cool, the kitchen, or the kitchen like has this like pantry area and the fridge is actually there. So you really don't see a fridge when you first walk in. But you got these cool, the lighting is so dope because they look like candles, but they're actually lights. This, this door slides all the way open or closed. I'm not strong enough to do it, but you can close this off. And this is another outdoor kitchen barbecue with seating for 12. I say 12, there's only 10. There's only 10 there right now, eight there right now. Um, which leads out then to the pool. We had a crazy windstorm last night, so we're gonna definitely need to clean the pool if we're gonna wanna go jump in. But again, the views on this are insane. Outdoor shower. So if you go to the beach, you come back through that entrance, you come up the stairs and you shower before you come back in to the house. Back to the entrance of the house, you have one bedroom there. So the cool thing about this house is that every single bedroom has a view of the ocean. Every single bedroom faces the ocean. You can see all the little pink little nippers in their outfits out there. That's one thing Australians do a great job of. Everyone learns how to swim in the ocean here, which is important when 90% of your population lives on the coast. Um, so going from this bedroom, you have 
the rain shower. Oh, hey, -o. how flossy is that shirt? Um, into a second bedroom right here. Again, each and every bedroom, the art in this house is just absolutely insane. Another view of the ocean. Guest bathroom, well, just a toilet. And then let's head downstairs. So you also have all this storage. Um, heading downstairs though, this part's super dope. In my opinion, one of the coolest things about this house is this room right here. Because as a kid, or if you're a parent, look at this. It's like going to a gym. This is like a locker room. Shower. You can just throw your kids in. Shower. Toilet. Toilet. And then you got your laundry down here. Two sinks. We got some stuff air drying right here. This heads out to another beach access. So again, you have a place to wash off your feet, a deck with another shower, and this goes down to the beach. So everything is kind of related around like beach living. And I'm looking around because there are spiders in Australia. Okay, so this is like the kid's locker room. I would have loved this as a kid. And then from here, this, so much natural light. This is where you would entertain, you know, this is where the kids would all come down here. You got classic arcade. You got all the seating. One, two, three, three huge couches, each with a bed that pulls out underneath it. Also, this right here has an amazing deck space. So we're on the bottom floor here, but look at the deck. That's absolutely insane. I would look to buy this house one day. It's not for sale and I don't have $9 million, but I would want to bring my entire family here because you also have this right here, a projection screen. There is the projector that folds down. So at night you close all of these doors, projection screen comes down there, the speakers, another TV, and you can just watch movies there. From that room, you come into where all the kitties would sleep. Again, every room has that beach view. Even your kids got a beach view. I didn't have a beach view as a kid. Did you have a beach view as a kid? You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight kiddos can sleep in this room. So I can literally bring all of my nieces. I have six nieces and three nephews. Oh, that's nine. One of them's gonna have to sleep on the ground. One of them is actually going to college next year too. That's so weird. I have a nephew that's going to college next year. I'm getting old. All right, from here, let's go back upstairs. We're gonna fast forward it and I'm gonna get some cardio up these stairs. Okay, back at the front door, going up the stairs to really what is my favorite, well, second favorite part of the house. The kitchen's really my favorite. The master bedroom. First thing you notice when you walk up the stairs, that very first thing you notice, boom, view, deck, awesome artwork. And then you have guest bedroom up here that obviously has the most dope view. Well, second most dope view after the master. So, kind of dope that pictures too. That just makes you want to go down and play at the beach. Has an awesome closet. Boom. And its own bathroom. From there, we walk over the sky bridge, as I like to call it. And then this is where you really are entering the master bedroom. All of this is deck up here. And as you come in, sitting area. So if you wanna watch TV, if, I'm, if the Super Bowl's going on and I got Patriots fans downstairs and I'm like, yo, I don't wanna watch with you guys. The Patriots are winning. Or if the Rams are winning and I'm like rubbing it in their face, I might just wanna come up here and watch by myself. You can do that in the master sitting room. Um, we've been stretching out each and every morning. I wish I could say we've actually been doing that, but we haven't been. I should be doing that. Stretching out on the deck because it's absolutely gorgeous. All right, from there, coming in the master, you get the same light fixture. You got the tub, um, bathroom, and a bidet. 
you know you're fancy when you got a bidet. Um, obviously, that's not very clean because yes, we are staying here. These shorts, I'm getting a lot of questions on these pink cheeto or leopard print shorts. You can't get them anywhere. The guy doesn't who makes them doesn't have Instagram. He literally makes them from fabric he finds, whether it's dresses or whatever, so they're all handmade. That's the only pair of pink leopard print shorts he's ever done. Sorry that I can't link them. And then master bedroom with the view of the pool. Again, everything is controlled by iPads, but you get just the most amazing sun flares creeping through in the morning when it's nice out. And then all of this light coming in. Look at that. How sick is that? Kill Care Beach is so amazing. So, so amazing that I wouldn't mind trying to live here a couple months out of the year. So we're also gonna go look at some other houses here. Maybe that are more in my price range. They're probably still way too expensive to be honest, but this one I know I can't afford. It's a good kind of goals house though. It's a good like inspiration to work harder and to do things because I would love nothing more than to have this as a place where I can come bring family, teach the little ones how to swim, and just have a great time. Look, there's even like a little park down there with like some weird, very weird workout equipment. You see it? It's blue, right there. So, we're gonna go look at those houses, but before we do, just wanna give you guys one last look at this amazing view. That house is for sale over there. So we might go look at that one. How crazy is this? This is where Alec, he grew up at. How, how cool would this be? You get home from school, you grab your surfboard, you meet all your friends at the beach and you just play. Like, I wouldn't have probably changed my childhood because I love playing like American football. But if I had to, I would have wanted to grow up in Australia. All right, let's go. All right, we are leaving. Casa de Awesome, and we are headed in the Tesla. Freaking love this car. I didn't really like this version, this SUV version, because I thought it looked a little weird. Um, but after driving in it, it is so, so, such a good car. Where you go, I'll go. I'm waiting for you. Yeah, you know. I got this First house. I told you guys we were gonna look at houses. This one is on the same beach stretch where we're staying, but it's a little bit higher up and it just got finished. So it's a remodel, re like gutted an old house. We got Alex's mom. Are you excited to see your mom? Always excited to see Let's go see Mrs. Baker and check out this house. Look at this place on the outside. I'm liking the decor, the landscaping. It's like a very minimalist. You would live here. It looks like very vegan friendly. Mama Baker is a saint. There she is. Good morning. Oh, this place is amazing. What do you think of my party shirt? We're kind of matching. Oh, yeah. oh, look at that. <laughs> Good to see you. Give your mom a hug. Of course. <laughs> so this is Mama Baker, CEO of Bell Properties. Right? Is that, am I saying that right? I'm so much good. That's and right. like you can brag about it. Brag about like how good, how good of a realtor she is. Best mom in the world. And mom. <laughs> realtor and mom. That's it. So we're about to take a look at this place. What's the square footage? The square footage. Or the, I guess you guys don't do that. Square meters. 140 square meters. Do the math on that. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's big. And it's crazy because it has a lot of cool indoor outdoor living. So all I know is if this, if this video hits 500 million views, we're buying it. Look how good this is. You do a very good job of making it look so homey. So what year is it originally built? So the hub was built in 2000. Okay. Um, one of Australia's most iconic architects, George Houdina, who um, collaborated with Belvedere Construction Company. Really? And created an amazing house that's the built in two pavilions. And you guys will see that. So there's like the front house and then like a covered walkway with a patio and then we'll just show you. It's probably the craziest architect, like architecture in a house I've ever seen. Yeah. We just don't get them like that where I'm from in the States, so. So this is kind of cool because you have, this is what we're talking about. It's like you walk in the front, 
filled with sunlight. It's so nice that it's a good day. So on the north side, you've got your private courtyards, and on the south side, you've got your ocean views. And it's probably the best ocean view I've ever seen in my life. It feels like you're in a cruise ship. Bathroom. So this would be the guests. If this would be this would be if you have people staying over, but you don't really want them in your business, you keep them in this front room. And this is cool. Whoa, these open up. Oh, this would be not good for me. I would try jumping into that at some point and it probably would not end well. So the front of the house is there. We walked in, that's the rest of the house. And you have this crazy open indoor outdoor living. How good is this? The materials are mainly sandstone, hardwoods and copper. Yeah, mm -hmm. bricky out here. This is, this is the office. Alec, office. if I got this house, this could be your editing studio. How would that be for a view? You'd see me in 24-7. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Oh, I, and I, I love like, so I want a whole house. I want all, like when I go back to Utah, Alec's been taking some awesome pictures. My whole house is gonna be like, the art on the wall is gonna be Australia. So when I go home, I can still have Australia be a part of me. This is beautiful. Oh, you could always move here. I could always buy a house and move here. I don't think I can afford this one quite yet. We're working on that. The, sl the all, like the crazy roof slants are what's so insane. Should we go check out the pool? Let's do it. There's two pools. There That's is two pools. That's what's crazy. Pools. There's two pools. And you haven't seen the best one yet. Oh, the guest, the guest bathroom with the shower and toilet and everything about the house feels like you're outside. So I think everything is meant to feel like everything's indoor outdoor. You don't know if you're inside or outside. I'm inside, I'm outside. You never know. Oh yeah. I've never seen a house with two pools, one in the courtyard area. But look, that's where we were at. I reckon if it was six feet deep, you could jump off that. Cool eating out here. I, I think I'd probably eat out here every night that it was nice. It's gonna be about 80 degrees today. Right now it's about like 77 out here and it's absolutely perfect. But how cool is this? You have the lighting of the walkway here at night. This is just perfect. If you like, if you don't mind being outside with nature, this is the house. Coming into the second part of the house, this is where it gets crazy. So you have the awesome stone, the sandstone. Check out the slant on the roof. And then look at that. Look at that. You literally, when you look out, you can't see another house. Like, all you see is ocean. These massive, I'm sorry, I, we didn't even look at the kitchen yet. I just came straight out here. Look at this. You literally feel like you're the only person in the world right here. You can see some houses over there, but there's no houses in front of you. I could, this view is one you would never get sick of seeing. Oh, it's a national park. And, and there's yeah, actually, there's a way you can get down like right there, right? Yeah. So you get two seating areas out here, like a little cozy, a cozy one and then a table that seats all you would want. You wouldn't want too many people to come over because they're gonna, you know, they're gonna see how awesome your house is and they're gonna wanna always come over after that. So you just wanna let your close family and friends come over. Because everyone else can be like, hey, Super Bowl, let's go to the, the, you know, we'll call this the cruise house because it looks like you're on a cruise ship. You know what's fun about this place too is the colors. Like, that's, a, that's like a coral couch. Huh? I think it matches my shirt. I feel like I'm in Miami right now. Oh, do you guys have, you guys don't have deer here, do you? Okay. It'd be like Australian antlers. I'm that ignorant American that thinks we only have deer. I like that. It makes me feel like I'm back in Idaho. And then you got the, the grand piano room. You have to learn, if you, if you bought this house, you'd have to learn how to play the piano just because you have a grand piano. There is not, like it catches your eye because there's not there's like very few right angles in this house in terms of like, there's nothing that's just flat. It's all slanted. So many different eye-catching little TV room. Thing is, I don't even know if you'd want to watch TV if you lived here. Like he was like, I can either watch TV or I can go look at a view that 
99.999% of people don't have. Jin, get all this natural light. We could do some cooking videos in here. I act like I cook still. I used to do a lot of cooking videos. Now I don't really, but this thing's great. Washing dishes, looking at the ocean. Should we roll down to my favorite part of the house? Let's do it. I feel like I'm in a really fancy resort when I'm here. That's what this feels like. So, come downstairs, guest bedroom, get your guest bath. I like this. I like the feeling of wood as I shower. I feel like I'm at the beach. And it has pretty good acoustics when I start singing. Let it snow! It's not how it goes. Full size mirror. This, this room is like, if you do have guests, you know it. When they come and stay with you, there is never, they're, they're never gonna be able to duplicate how good this view is right here. I just wanna move here. Can we move here? Can we move here and create awesome videos? Bring fitness culture, bring my family. We'll just, we'll all live in this house. Everyone's gotta pay rent. And we'll, I would do it for that view. Oh, and the master. Oh, the, the, my favorite part of this house is like how the woods, the glass, and then the sandstone mixed together. Look at the light in this place right now. Look at that. That glass is so clear, you look like you could walk through it. Do I look like that? Does it look like there's not glass behind me? Yeah, like, does not look like, looks like a big TV. <sighs> Speaking of TV, this is like the most Jetson looking TV. It's like a mid-century modern TV. And that right there is like, you are so... Gangster. Yeah, hipster. Because you got a 1970s TV that looks futuristic in your house. <laughs> this art's cool too. Oh, look at the carpet. Like everything about this place. I don't know if I'd ever leave this room. Because then you got the wood. Again, it's like you can smell the wood too. The wood smells so good. So you got the dope shower. It smells like a sauna. It's like really. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah nah. Yeah, nah. Nah, yeah. Nah, yeah. His and her sinks, and then this. This is the jam. This is my jam. Just taking a bath in the daylight, just basking in it. And you got a little tree so no one can peek in. They'd have to have some pretty high powered binoculars to peek in. All right, we'll take it. I haven't even seen the view yet. You got the, this is the laundry room. Oh, you got, so you get two laundry rooms. You got one for the guest. That's it. And then this one. And then you guys, you know what Australians do well? They do storage well. Like, this would just be a hallway in the US, but you guys throw all the storage right there. You guys ready for the most amazing part of this entire house? Look at this. I'm gonna get back to Utah and I'm gonna miss this view right here. I'm just gonna try to have to close my eyes and think about what this felt and looked like, because this is, I would never need to leave this area. I would just be like, okay, I'm living out here. I'm gonna have a cot, because I just want to see this. Yep, we'll take it. Both of our, our salaries go to the house. What do you think? You can at least be closer to mom. I'll sign the papers today. <laughs> Dude, that's insane. I want to see this house. I definitely feel motivated right now. Sometimes, you know, it's not about money, but sometimes seeing things that like will enhance your life and everyone else's life around, like walking through that house, I literally could see and envision like my family over here having a barbecue, laughing, and again, it's more about the experience rather than like sharing that view with the people that you love most would be like the coolest thing to me. Like same with like when we go to Lake Powell in the States, you don't have cell phone service, and yes, we're on a big, beautiful houseboat, and I guess that's what money allows you to do is have experiences and enhance other people's life more. So that's, that is motivation right there to, to really get back to work, to get back to the grind, to, you know, create things that, you know, things that I'm passionate about, but to try to do, you know, try to build businesses around those things. Cause I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not the best like business minded person. I have great, I feel like sometimes I have good visions of things, but like carrying it out. Um, so that's why I'm lucky I have like Jake and you know we had some cool things coming in the future but you don't need that to be happy but it's definitely like watching the people you love most you know having dinner overlooking just things that you know i don't know it's like i i want to share these experiences share like coming to australia i would love nothing more than to bring my whole family and be like look check out australia it's so much fun so 
All right, we're out of here. <laughs>